like my path through this madness. Welcome to Aneshi's humble shrine. Old Aneshi doesn't get many visitors, friend. Few find much comfort in the ancient tales of Gunzari during these trying times. Wait. Aneshi recognizes your friend. She is grown now, more serious. But this one knows Princess Kamira by Jold. Aneshi's beloved wife, Zaima, worked with the militia for a time after we avoided Uraxia's purge of the palace. Passed along information until the Uraxians caught her. They killed her in the palace courtyard. Then you need to enter the palace crypts. A forgotten passage in the crypts leads to the royal kitchens. Jod above. Old Aneshi can hardly believe his eyes. Princess Kamira. This is truly Milit Kastelan, but I am Queen Kamira now. We will throw the usurper from my father's throne. We stayed close to the castle. Zaima, my brave and beloved wife, she passed information to the militia until the vile Uraxians got her. After that, Aneshi came here to restore this ancient shrine. This one will help you as best he can, my queen. I will visit with Aneshi, Five Claw. 
Recover the master key and meet me in Raymond. Withered hand came. Silujo. If you would just
I may not have figured out Kamira's true identity, but things have been hectic since I met her. Zamorak, though, he was easier to surmise. I recognized the bearing of the King's Claw the moment I saw him. The crypts. So that means another delightful trek through the sewers. The siege weapons aim down into the city. We need to disable them before Euraxia realizes she's under attack or she'll destroy Rimen just to spite us. Just thinking out loud, a habit I acquired during my time in the archives at White Gold Tower. Zamorak once served as a royal protector. From his bearing and the way he hovers near Chimera, he had to be one of the King's Claws. It's quite Captain Nalado's waiting for you near the siege weapons. Work with her to put them out of commission. I'm counting on it. After you and Nalado destroy the first two platforms and Chimera deals with the third, Euraxia will order her troops into the streets to defend the city. That will... Zamorak, Cadwell and I will make our way to the sewers and deal with any Euraxians stationed there. Can't... Very clever. At least you waited to throw that in my face. As you well know, it was never my intention to loose the dragons on elsewhere. I wasn't even aware of their presence in the halls of Colossus. Despite your jibe, I will fix this. Count on it. The King's Claws were an elite squad of agents loyal to King Hamakar of Rimen. They protected the King and the royal family, undertook special missions, all very hush-hush. It's a guess, but if I'm right, it explains much about Zamorak. Zamorak, Cat... Hmm. I thought you might be remarking on how spell... The good captain waits near the palace. She went on ahead to scout the area and determine what opposition you might encounter at the siege weapon platforms. Someone needs to remain behind and A divine lives among us. Come and give thanks to him. Five claw, good, good. We have work to do. The soldier guarding the gate to the south weapons platform appears bored. This at the gate, yes. This one observed a few more soldiers on the platform, but not many. The... Watch as Nalado becomes a sleek Iraxian soldier. Oh, how do they see with this thing on? in the market. Hurry! Finally, some action! Nalado will heal. Oh, 
the armor. The south platform is under attack! Stupid cats! Let's meet the others at the sewer entrance. Here come the others now. There are two A queen should not rush into danger. It is unseemly. This I one should be at her side to keep her safe. Mira is queen now, so this one must do as she says. There... Yes, and if anything happens to our new queen, this one will have Thorn's head on a platter. I'll scout ahead. Tally her. Unsheathe your claws. There is the door to the crypts. Let us see if the master key still works. Nalado will guard the rear. You go ahead and find a way in. They took his body. They desecrated the king's grave. Zamarak has no clue. This royal crypt was prepared when King Hemakar ascended to the throne and married Queen Numara. Dark moons. This one hopes that is not the case.
That's far enough. Queen Euraxia doesn't want to be disturbed. Queen Euraxia will be delighted to hear that we have guests. Oh, look, more cats. I do adore fleeing and then roasting the nasty creatures. If you'll excuse us, we have another member of your party to deal with. <laughs> I'm of two minds. I want to watch your cadavers tear these cheeky mud crabs apart, but I also want to deal with my inferior duplicate. What to do? What to do? Help! They're going to destroy me! Destroy you? No, we're simply going to be the state of nature. We will transfer your duplicate animus into our land. But our time with Queen Euraxia has reached its end. Come along. Please! Not like this! Try smashing these glass balls! Uh, 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 well, that wasn't good. You go on. I'll be alone. There. Make haste. Euraxia is in the palace courtyard with Mulamnir. Be cautious. Seek lies to the southwest. Zumog Fum has the key. Now, about my request. The necromancers have already agreed to serve Calgrontid. You no longer interest us, Euraxia Tharn. How dare you! We had a deal! What's this now? My incompetent half brother and. Aha! The lost princess returns. Nalador! Here. Your parents have missed you so, princess. I never liked you, Abner. Now do me a favor. Just die! I'll take down that shield. You deal with the others. Once this all began, 
I knew Euraxia would need to be dealt with. But sending Chimera's murdered parents against us. Death was too easy an end for my half-sister. Half-sister. And do I really seem like the sentimental type to you? Euraxia may be gone, but Mulamnir mentioned his leader, Calgrontid. Perhaps. The next queen of Anequina said there's no time to mourn the dead, but I worry what happened here could affect her judgment. We will deal with the Fallen later. I fear more pressing matters must concern us now. May the Dark take Euraxia! She sent my own parents against us, and killed the brave and honorable Nalado! But we have no time to mourn. Do not presume to tell me how I should feel. I am the Queen now. And I do not have the luxury or the time to grieve. After we finish saving elsewhere from the dragons, you are still with me in this Five Claw. You and Abner Thorn both. The war is far from over. Even a queen needs to consult with such learned personages as Garish Ri and Abner Thorn every now and then. Take this in recognition of your efforts on our behalf, Five Claw. Then talk to Garish Ri. I need to think. This throne. For too long, a tyrant has sat upon it. But now... The main must recognize you as the heir of Anequina. But the people already cheer your name. A word, Five Claw. This anything? Zumont Fu has been collecting my original body parts. He tried to steal my essence and stick it back in my old noggin. I, th I think, I think he's trying to put me back together. Well, not me, the other me, the betrayer. Must I? Oh, very well. Uh, my memories are rather muddled, but it seems that in life I was rather a distasteful chap. I was a knight, a champion. I helped people, mostly, but mostly I helped myself. I had uh, a friend, I think, another hero of the age, one of these lovely cat people, went by the name of Kunzai Ri. I helped him do something or other. Then, when he least expected it, I stabbed him in the back. Literally. That's another of those blank spaces in my memory. I... Queen Kamira went through a difficult trial just now, but she will be stronger because of it. Now Zamarak will tell Kamira the truth. How this one served as the King's Claw and kept her safe during Euraxia's coup. When I was a little girl, I played in this room. I pretended that John and Jode spoke to me over there, beneath the statues. After Euraxia's coup, I dreamed of this moment when I could reclaim my father's empty throne. Because... because... 
Ah, oh, damn it, Five Claw. I need a moment to think. To let everything that just occurred sink in. Do you think I have not asked myself that very same question? Joan and Jode, we had to kill my parents again. That is kind of you to say, Five Claw. I hope my people feel the same way. Amira's parents would be proud of how she has stepped forward in these dark times. Moons, I am proud of her. You bring news both welcome and grim. But we can neither celebrate a victory nor mourn the good captain until later, I fear. Could they be interested in the moon gate of Anequina? It lies in that direction. I wonder if this pertains to Euraxia's final order. Even now, Abnor Tharn searches through the documents in the royal study, seeking information concerning this final order. Worried? No. That would imply I had any feelings toward the man whatsoever. When you look at the world as lines on a map, it all seems so small and insignificant. I found a letter, but it's not complete. Looks like a scribe's dictation. It alludes to an order Euraxia was preparing to deliver shortly before our assault on the palace. It mentions a Captain S, the Cygnus Irregulars, and a favor for the dragons, but give... We did what had to be done. Think no more about it. If you hadn't ended Euraxia, I certainly would have. This study contains documents from when the Khajiit ruled Rimen, as well as papers that cover the span of Euraxia's rule. So anything pertaining to this so-called final order. Control dragons? What folly. But what was that about killing the last dragon guard? Captain Sorlinia. That must be Captain S. And the signal.
The documents you uncovered allow me to make sense of this unfinished dictation. I believe I now know the contents of Euraxia's final order. Euraxia ordered Captain Sorlinia to assassinate a dragon guard in an effort to appease the dragons. Neither do I, at least not fully. The dragon guard were the sworn protectors of the Imperial Emperor. At least they were until they fell out of favor. Your Don't ask me. The dragon guard I knew failed to protect the potentates and were disbanded in disgrace. They claimed to have descended from legendary Akaviri dragon hunters. But that's all it was. A legend. We can't take any chances. Euraxia's final order directs her assassins to murder the last dragon guard. If the dragons consider this threat real, we need it on our side. Mikalo is mentioned in Garesh Ree's intelligence reports. He commands a garrison of troops in an estate seized when they conquered the region. As for Sorlinia, I've never heard of her. But an assassination squad, they're never a good thing.